Hey YouTube, Puppy Water Chicken here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Final Fantasy Advent Children Play Arts Sephiroth figure. First, I'm going to be going over the box, then the accessories, and then the figure itself. So here's the box. It has a window in the front, the top, and the two sides for viewing the figure. Here's the bottom, and here's the back. Inside the box is this plastic. As you can see, there's alternate hands. Sephiroth comes with three pairs of hands. He comes with an open pair, fist pair, and a holding the sword pair. So the one that he comes with, I think, or the one that he has on, is wielding the hand in the right and open in the left. And here are the rest of the hands. And the figure fits in that very nicely. I really like the packaging on Play Arts. Then it comes with a stand, three-part stand. This goes up and down. It also opens like that. And this is two parts. This slides in there. And it clicks right there. Perfect little stand. Here's the figure itself. Oh, yeah, and of course his gigantic scythe or sword, whatever you want to call this. And that's pretty cool. You can put it in his hand backwards or forward, whichever way. But he holds it very well, so that's not a problem. The head gets a lot of movement, considering how much hair he has. Up and down pretty well, sideways, and it can even twist a little bit. You could probably get it to go all the way around by lifting up this hair, but I don't really want to try, nor care to. So, the cape, it buckles in right there on the top buckle, and then you can undo it. And it's rubbery, so that gets a lot of movement. It doesn't really get in the way of the figure. The hair is pretty rubbery, too so it doesn't really get in too much way, especially right here, it's very rubbery. So the figure itself looks great, it has a ton of articulation, it's pretty big and it's pretty heavy. Here's a ruler that I have, it stands almost 10 inches, 9 maybe, 9, 9, about 9 inches tall. So a pretty fair amount larger than a lot of the other Play Arts figures. It's pretty heavy, too, to make up for that. But anyways, the shoulders get some movement. I don't think they go all the way around. You might be able to get it, too, but I don't want to force it. And then these shoulder pads also all move, so that's pretty cool. And it twists right under the shoulder pad. The elbow bends. The wrist moves a little bit. It goes around, but it can't do anything else cool. He does bend or move at the stomach just around. That can go all the way around. The legs get a pretty good range of moment, movement up, but not back because of his pants. So that kind of sucks, but oh well. They do go out not too much, a little bit. The knees bend. They twist right there, right above his long boots. And the feet move up and down and sideways, just like that. They do not twist other than up there, which is something I don't really like. I like it more when the twist joint is down here, but oh well. So overall, it's a really great figure. It looks great. It stands pretty well. It has a stand just in case. It's huge. Definitely worth your money. So I would recommend it. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and check out my other videos.